On this part here, you select in the moment, it's on a part five. I'll continue to go through what I left you behind on part four so you know exactly how to practice when you start to practice with it. As you remember, on a part four, I left you here. Okay? Now on here, I continue to go through with the part again I left you so you know exactly how to do them when you practice with it. Bring your hand in like that and the feet coming inside and the back, the weight transfer to the back leg and hand from here, push from the shoulder. When you've done this, feet coming out like that, grab and start to pull when your hand into here. When you finish it already, bring your feet up like this and hand like this. So when you can lean forward to the movement, okay, like that. Bring your feet up and then start to kick on that. When you've done that particular movement, bring your feet into here and then hand out here. Okay? Now when you've done that already, again bring the feet in, lift your toe up, turn, and your hand in that position like this. Up and then kick out like that again. Okay, when you've done that, turn your body into that position here. Do exactly the same again, up and then kick out like that. Okay, when you've done the last bit already, turn your hand into here and then go like that. And that's where you finish on that particular part there. When you're understanding how to move your body, like I say already, it doesn't matter if you cannot kick that high. If you cannot kick that high, you can kick that lower. It doesn't matter, provide your body's balance. For example, when you get to here, grab the feet in and hand at this. And then hand at that. That's fine, okay? You don't need to be kick high. That's fine. And exactly the same way as you do in this size, okay? Here. Bring the feet up and hand together and hand at that. Now, when you hand out that, make sure the hand is out and the feet like this, okay? And back straight when you do that. Turn your body as you twist like this, okay? And then do exactly the same again when you come up like this, yeah? Now, when you start to work with this out, don't kick too fast when you come up. Just nice and slowly and push hand out like that when you do that, hand out when you do them, okay? Bring your hand in here and then you come back in that position, hand back at that, back straight, hand it here. And that's how you practice with that particular one there. Important to understanding is a turn and the balance and the control of your body weight. For example, when you come in here, turn your body and feet come back and then push. The weight must be in the back leg. If the weight not in the back leg, you cannot push from here. Okay, that's important. I'll show you how we really do them here. So when you practice, you know exactly how to do them. That's where you are. Bring the hand up like this, then bring the feet in, and then push. Hand out. Grab. And then kick. Bring the feet in, and then out. Bring the hand into here. Up. And then kick. Turn your body, bring the feet up, and then kick. Bring the feet in and hand together like this, and that's where you are, here. Try to practice as much as you can on that particular exercise, and when you start to understanding them, you can move on to the next exercise. I see you on to the next lesson.